Welcome back to We On World Is One. I'm Jyotsna Kumar. This is all lined up, but first the headlines. Netanyahu to address U.S. Congress on July 24th, visiting a visit on main mounting pressure on Israel to agree to permanent ceasefire with Hamas as he faces growing diplomatic isolation over rising Gaza death toll. Hamas has not yet handed mediators its response to latest ceasefire proposal and is still studying it, says Qatar as mediators continue peace efforts. Ukraine war witnesses another escalation. Biden outlines authorization for Ukraine's use of U.S. weapons to strike inside Russia. Macron pledges to send Mirage fighter jets to Ukraine. British and U.S. Air Forces perform flyover during a ceremony to mark the 80th anniversary of D-Day in Normandy. Alors oui. Hunter Biden's brother's widow testifies in federal gun case. Embarrassed and ashamed, Holly Biden tells jurors Hunter introduced her to crack and that she tossed his gun into a trash can. Sudanese Army Chief Abdel Fattah al burhan visits injured after rapid support forces attacked the central village in Al Jazeera state with heavy artillery on Wednesday. UN General Assembly elects Denmark, Greece, Pakistan, Panama and Somalia to serve as non-permanent UNSC members for two-year terms, beginning on January 1, 2025. India's PM Modi-led NDA alliance partners to meet on Friday as political parlays gather steam ahead of Sunday's expected swearing-in ceremony. Shares of GameStop surged nearly 50% on Thursday. This rise was the latest in a bout of volatile trading in the struggling video game sellers' shares that kicked off last month. <laughs> 